Now I've mixed up a dark, well it, it's green but it's, I've greyed it a little in that I've kind of neutralised it with some violet and red and a bit of white and a bit of yellow just to take off the, the greenness of it really because there's a lot of shadowy areas down here so I'm going to get this colour in um, at this stage, it's just a dark, dark colour, I'm trying to keep it fairly neutral, I'm just adding a bit more red in it um, as I speak, so I've already got the dark underneath which, with the acrylic which is very helpful and it covers really well, so some of that acrylic will, will come through a little bit. And of course there's some quite vibrant areas like here with the red. So although I'm covering it a little, I'm going to try and leave little flecks of that coming through. That will all help to make the painting more interesting rather than a, a very sort of dark area with no colour at all. It's going to much more interesting having the, the reds and the pinks coming through. So I'm using a lot of paint. It's a large canvas so I'm, I'm covering quite big areas with the paint. Some of it's quite thick too. Um, but that's really going to, I hope it's going to have a real chunky feel. Okay, it's finished. Try not to get fussy, try to keep it very free and broad. to bring up into where the lighter bluebells area will be. So I'm just using the edge of the palette knife um, to create these just areas where I'm breaking up the light with the dark colour. And I've mixed up a slightly more browner colour as well. Not so green, more brown. It's just bringing some of that in. And that's going to take off again that, the greenness of it. Provide a more interesting painting in the long run.
I'm going back up to the area up here now, leaving this a little while. Um, because if I can move around the painting, it, it helps me to work out the, the balance, the balance of colour, the balance of tone throughout the work. So in order to work out how dark or light certain areas are going to be, I need to adjust everything throughout the painting as I go. So I don't want to finish one area first and then move on to the next. I want to gradually build it up in layers. So I'm going back here. I'm looking at the trees now. At the moment, you can this red and the colours here, <coughs> it's all acrylic. I'm going to now work over with the oils, with the oil and try and leave some of this um, red underneath, coming through a little bit. It's not too dark, it's a kind of mid-tone here because the dark tree branches is, is the one that are in front of that, this overhanging branch here. So I don't want it too dark. So it's all about trying to adjust the level of tone, the degree of tone. There's a, a branch coming across here quite a small one which is a similar sort of tone. So while I've got this colour I can bring in some other um, parts of the painting that need this colour and tone. Just breaking up this area a little bit with some more branches. having a look over here just to see if there's anything I can bring in. There's one or two, there's a little bit there where it's catching the light just a little bit. And I'm going to use some of this colour just here just to darken it slightly. It's really a grey, really, because um, it needs to have a bit of coolness in the distance. And that will help to um, create the the depth, hopefully. If, it, if it's a little bit cooler here under the trees, the colour. And now I've got still got some of my really dark colour mixed up that I was using down here and I'm going to bring this into this branch at this stage. I can always go in and lighten it later on or add another colour but I want to really try and get a feel for how the tones are going to work now in the in painting. coming right in front of everything. And there's all the branches coming across. Already I'm thinking it's perhaps a little bit too dark, so I'm going back in with a slightly grayer, lighter tone, just to soften it a little bit. But as I build up around it, it will work better. I've got a lot of foliage to put in up in this area yet. It's, it's almost like painting the skeleton really at this stage, the bones of it, and then I can get the leafy 
aspect of the tree a bit later on. It doesn't mean to say I can't go back and add more branches, which I will do, but it's just giving me a structure um, around which I can work. And the branch comes right down and overhangs here. And I will do more to this later when I've got some of the um, bluebell colour in here. There's also another branch in this corner. Just want to get that in before it gets forgotten. So I've really started now to look at the structure, the composition of how this is going to work and the, the branches and the leaves will come in soon. Um, so while I have the colours that I was using down here, I've put some of that up here and that's going to help with harmonising the painting. So I can go back a little bit and just do a little bit more here. mixed up a lovely cool yellow green because um, as well as this soft green here there's some more vibrant greens coming through in front of the soft areas that I've got there already so again in a similar way I want to be very direct with it now using the thicker paint building up the oils and I'm looking for places where this colour can come in. a lot of, there's just little flecks of it, you just want to get a little bit down, not too much. Most of this is going to be quite dark for um, greens, so just a little bit there. Perhaps even a little hint through here where the bluebells are. There's quite a lot of light in this area and there's little flecks of green throughout. I'm just going to bring a little bit of that in now at this stage. This, this is a branch coming across with leaves and this is actually sort of coming down into this area here. 